Hi, so what's new in Plusbeck for SketchUp 2016? Well, in this video, we are going to take a more in-depth look into all of the latest improvements. Let's start with the latest improvements to the job tool. We have made a bunch of changes to this tool, and now you can add in job categories so that you can capture and communicate all of the important project condition information, which is typically left out. We have also added a settings tool, and this enables you to set your material library, the units that you wish to draw in, as well as your currency symbol. Once you have made these changes, they'll be saved as your default template, meaning that you will really only ever have to do this once. This leads us to one of the most requested changes. The ability to now write in feet and inches is going to make our US users very happy. All of the Plusbeck dialogues have now been pimped so that our US users can input imperial measurements and weight. Further to this, users can now also select from either degrees or ratios to select the angle or pitch of a roof. Virtual design and construction is the core power of Plusbeck, so it is important that all of your designs are as, as worldly as possible. Now all of the internal linings are drawn accurately with a nominated thickness. Also brand new metal roofing, fascia and gutter options are available. Australian users will be happy to hear that they will now have access to all of the roof options and colours from the Stramat Colourbond range. The next tool that I'm about to show you is one of our favourite new features. If you click on the roof tool, you will now see a truss tool. You can go into a lot of detail here, and once you're ready, just press submit. Drawing a truss is a three point process. I like to turn on the structure scene so I can trace my frame. Choose the end that you want to draw first by left clicking first second and then choose a point in your, in your design where it suits the truss. In this particular instance I'm just going to draw in the midpoint. The reason why you need to draw multiple pieces for your truss is that each end is controlled separately. But that's fine, simply fill in the other end. All of the trusses are parametric which means you can simply right click it and then edit them. Let's do something simple here. To generate roofing is the same as standard when drawing a normal roof. And then edit it as required. We are also incredibly excited to introduce the MEP tool. This new tool will provide engineers with the first easy to use MEP BIM tool. However, design professionals and builders will now be able to better account for and visualize these provisions, which are typically left out of the BIM process in 3D form but also lead to unforeseen and costly errors on site. Please note that the old BIM tool has now been merged with a new MEP tool. To draw MEP, simply click on the new BIM MEP tool and then select the MEP. From here, simply choose what kind of MEP you wish to draw with. You can also manually select the diameter and the circle accuracy. Once you're happy, simply left click to draw. To make drawing easier, you can press the right arrow key on the keyboard to lock it to the red axes. You can press the up arrow key to lock it to the blue axes. And you can click the left arrow key to lock it to the green axes. We love our new cutting tools and we think that you will too. Now you can quickly and easily cut voids in concrete slabs, 
add penetrations for pipe work or add recesses. All of these new tools are parametric, which allows you to edit them at any time. The takeoff is also automatically deducting the voids and penetrations to ensure that your takeoff is 100% accurate. The joist tool has also got a makeover so that users can now more easily add voids whilst automatically updating the structure. Let's take a look. Simply right click on a slab, hover over slab, and now you'll see that you've got the void tools, recess tools, and the slab penetrations tool. Let's start with the void. You can draw it to any shape. If you right click over the slab again, you can go back into the void tools and you can either move them or you can delete them. This is the same for the joist. Simply right click and now add void. To add penetrations to a slab, simply right click on it and now go to the slab penetrations tool. Again, you can choose the diameter and the circle accuracy. When you're happy, just press submit and then left click to place. You can even see that we've put in the center point so that you can easily connect it with your MEP pipe work. To add a recess, right click and this time choose the re recess tool, add recess. Again, you can draw any shape and you can edit it, left click to select it and you can change it for its depth. The recess tool is also used to create drop edge beams. Select the amount and then just draw. The wall and floor surface tools have also been updated to allow you to easily cut them, cutting through every layer that you have drawn with. Intuitive dimension strings now allow you to accurately place windows and doors. And if you press the right arrow key, you can toggle from the exterior, interior or center point. To get from the exterior, this um, edge here on the right, you'll see that there's a negative. So if you want to accurately place it, type in the negative first and then position your window. We have also added a cornice option to the ceiling tool, as well as adding materials to the door dialog so that you can now easily apply and create materials for doors. Further to this, we have now allowed windows to be opened inward as well as outward. Our new north tools found in the job tool allow users to geolocate their site Display North and set Project North. Let's first geolocate by clicking on this icon here. After you've typed in your address, simply select the region and then grab. This is the same as the standard SketchUp tool. If you click on the Display North tool, you'll see an orange line appears and this represents the North. The problem with working in True North, as shown on the screen, is that you'll be working off axes. Never work off axes with Prospect for SketchUp. The new Set Project North tool allows you to easily set all of your plans at Project North, but accurately capture the sun to real world conditions. This allows you to work on axes, but to these real world conditions, so that your sun and shadow studies are 100% accurate. 
to Set Project North, left click on the Set Project North tool. And now position your site from an accurate point that you can reference, such as here. Now you need to left click and then left click another point in which you want to rotate from. Let's take a closer look at this Google image. Simply turn on your shadows and now you can manipulate them. As you can see, I've been able to match this shadow exactly and determine the likely day, time and month of the year that this satellite image was taken. That is how accurate this is. The new North tools also allow you to easily generate sun study analysis which you can modify to suit your local council's requirements. Simply click on the Create Shadows. And last but not least, you can now export your takeoff directly into Excel. After you have created a new takeoff, simply select the Output Excel button, which will then convert your takeoff into XML format. At Pluspec, we continuously release hassle-free updates for our users. If you are an existing user, we know that you will love the latest features. However, if you have not yet joined the Pluspec for SketchUp design and construction revolution, there is no better time to join than now.